Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script an elevator on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game and as you'll see, we can walk up to our elevator right over here. And if we press the button on the outside, it'll open up and then we can go in the elevator and we can select the floor that we want to go to. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that you're going to need is your elevator build. And the way this is going to be set up is the elevator doesn't move up and down, but it's set up in capsules. So all this means is we have one capsule right here. And as you can see, it has the door, it has the button, it has some inside buttons. And if we duplicate this capsule, we'll just move it up here. Whenever the player presses the button, it's going to teleport them up to the next capsule. So it's super easy. Rather than having a floor that moves up and down, you just make one capsule and then we can duplicate it. So I know there's a lot of things under this capsule and it may be a little bit hard to take in. Um, so if you'd like to, you can head down to the description of this video and I have this exact model. Uh, with, there's actually three layers of it with the scripts and everything right down there so you can import this into your game. Um, but if you would like to make it yourself, I can just do a quick overview of what this capsule consists of. So the first thing is we have buttons right here. So floor one, floor two, and floor three. All these have is click detectors in them. And right here we have floor teleport, but we're just going to delete these actually because we're going to do the scripting on our own. Um, but you just want to have a click detector in there. And then I have a surface GUI just to tell the player what floor it is. And you just want to make sure these buttons are named exactly what floor you want them to go to. So if you want them to go to floor one, you name the button one. If you want them to go to floor two, you name the button two, etc., etc. And you can add as many floors as you want because of this design. Um, also what you want is a door button. You want two door buttons. And all those consists of is a click detector and again, another script. And this is just what's going to open the door and close the door. You need a left door and a right door. Uh, I like to have walls around mine, but of course you don't need to have walls. Uh, and finally, the most important piece of this is because this is a teleporting elevator rather than one that moves up and down, you need this piece right here, which I call the teleport part. And all this is, it's a part invisible and can't collide set to false in the middle of the elevator. And this is where the player gets teleported to when they select the button. So you just want to have a bunch of these different things. Of course, you can grab the model in the description or you can make it. Um, but once you have that, we can actually get into scripting it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to create the script that will open and close the doors right here. So I'm just going to go right here to our door button and we have a click detector under there. And I'm just going to make a new script uh, right here and we will just name it toggle doors. And now inside this script, it's actually very simple. All we're going to do is if they press it and the doors are open, we're going to close them. And if they press it and the doors are closed, we're going to open it. Uh, so the first line that we're going to have is we want to get a reference to our capsule itself. So in this case, capsule one. And that capsule in reference to the script is script.parent.parent. .parent. So we'll say local capsule equals script.parent.parent, .parent, just like that. After this, I want to get a reference to our left door and our right door, since those get, they are going to be what we're opening and closing. So I'll say left door equals capsule dot left door. And then we'll do the same thing for right door, local right door equals capsule dot right door. And then finally, I want to get a reference to our click detector so we can get exactly when that door button is clicked. Uh, so we'll just say local click detector equals script dot parent dot click detector. And this will allow us to get whenever they press that button so we can open and close the doors. Okay, so after this, we want to hook into the mouse click event of the click detector. And this is just going to get whenever the player clicks the button. So we'll just say click detector dot mouse click. We'll hook into that function, connect it up. Uh, and then in here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement. And we're going to say if left door dot can collide is equal to true. So if the door is currently closed, we want to open the door by setting the can collide of the doors to false. And we want to set the transparency to one so it looks like they're open. So we'll just say if left door dot can collide is equal to true. If the door is currently closed, then we'll set can collide of the left door to false so that they can walk through it. And we'll do the same thing with the right door, right door that can collide equals false. And now it's going to make it so you can walk through it, but we need to change the transparency so that if you can see, we can actually change it right here. If we set the transparency to one, it'll make it invisible. So it looks like the doors are open. So we'll say left door dot transparency equals one. 
And same thing with the right door, right door dot transparency equals one, just like that. So if the door is closed, then we're gonna open it. And now we need to say if the doors are open, otherwise, which is the same thing as saying else. So if the doors are open, then we wanna do the opposite of all this. So I'm just gonna copy the code from up here. Uh, you could always type it out and I'm gonna change the false to true in every single one of these going to do the opposite so false is true one is zero and that's actually it for this script for the open door so if we head into the game you will actually be able to see we'll be able to open up and close the door just by clicking that button uh, let's see can we get to it there we go so that's the inner button right there and I actually think I already have it on the inner button let's see if we have so we have our door button right here so that's the outside and then we have an inner door button as well, and that just has the same script, as you can see. I wrote it earlier. Um, so in here, so we have our doors, we can open and close them from both the sides. Of course, you just wanna paste that script we just wrote into here, since you don't already have it. Or of course, you can grab that model from the description. Uh, and after this, we actually wanna work on the system where we can change floors, so we can teleport up and down based on what the player clicks on this floor panel right here. So what we want to do is the way this is organized is makes it very easy for us to add different capsules so we can have like 100 floors if we want, nice and easy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder under Workspace and I'm just going to name this Elevator. You could name it whatever you'd like. Um, and all of our capsules are going to go inside of this Elevator. So we have Capsule 1 and we can duplicate the capsule and then we could create Capsule 2 we could duplicate it again, capsule three, et cetera, et cetera. You go on forever if you wanted to. But because we have it like this, it's super easy to add buttons to our elevator. So what, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create the button for floor one and we're gonna copy the script over. All we're gonna do, we'll create a new script under here, under that one button. We'll name it floor teleport. And you just wanna make sure you have that click detector under there just so that we can actually hook into when that button's clicked. And this script is very simple, it's a 10 line script. So the first thing we're going to do is we, like, we want to get a reference to that elevator folder that we just created. So I'll say local elevator folder equals game.workspace.elevator. And of course, if you rename this folder because you have multiple elevators, you just want to change that to like elevator one, two, three, or whatever number elevator you have. Uh, and we also want to get a reference to our click detector, which would be script.parent.clickdetector right there. So local click detector equals script.parent.clickdetector, just like that. Uh, and then after this, just as before, we want to hook into the mouse click event of the click detector. So I'll say click detector dot mouse click, and I'll connect that up to a function. And this time inside of this function, we do want to get the player who clicked parameter because we need to know who we're going to teleport up and down levels. So we just want to grab the player who clicked right there. Uh, and so the next thing we're going to do, and it's going to seem a little bit confusing if you're not too knowledgeable of scripting, but I'll guide you through it. We want to get a reference to the selected capsule. So that all that means is if we clicked on button one, we want to get the first capsule model. If we selected floor two, if we clicked on the floor two button, we want to get a reference to the second capsule model, and we want to do that for all of our buttons. So the way we do that, is we're gonna say create a new variable we'll say local selected capsule equals and this is gonna seem a little confusing we're gonna say elevator folder just like this and rather than saying dot we're gonna use a left square bracket and a right square bracket and all this means is rather than saying dot and then typing our name here we can type our name as a string so we could say like elevator folder dot capsule one that's the same thing as saying elevator folder dot capsule one, just like that. But in this way, we can put variables and different values in here rather than having to hard code it in there. So we're gonna say elevator folder, and then we'll say capsule, and then we wanna concatenate this string by saying dot dot script dot parent dot name. So right now in this one button right here, the name is one. So this means right here, because we're underneath the one script right here, it means elevator folder dot capsule one. If we name this two, this would basically mean elevator folder dot capsule two, you know, and we could go on forever. But the reason we're doing it this way is because it makes it super easy to duplicate the script just under these ones. So we don't really have to do that much other work. We just copy and paste the script under. 
So we have that variable, selected capsule, probably the hardest thing in this script. Uh, and after this, I just want to get the teleport part, as I was mentioning earlier, of that selected capsule. So this part right here in the middle, this is what we actually want to teleport the player to when they click on the button. Um, of course, of the capsule, so if this is the first one, we want to teleport them to this part. If it's the second one, we'll teleport them up a little bit. And that's just so that we know exactly where we teleport the player to. So I'll say local teleport part equals selected capsule dot teleport part. Uh, and then finally, we have two more lines in here. We want to get a reference to our character of the player who clicked, because that's how we're going to teleport them. And then we actually want to teleport them by setting their primary part C frame. So I'll say local character equals player who clicked dot character. And then we're going to say character colon set primary part C frame. And this is the same thing as saying teleport the player to this coordinate. So maybe if we wanted to teleport them to 111, we'd say cframe.new111. But of course, we don't want to do it this way. We want to teleport them to the C frame of this teleport part right here. We want to set teleport them to wherever that teleport part is. So we'll say set primary part C frame, and our argument in there is teleport part dot C frame. Just like that. And that's actually all we have to do for this script. The floor teleport script is done, and that's all the scripting we have to do at all. Now it's just a matter of copying this script for our different buttons. So all we have to do is, because we had that one line in there that used the script.parent.name, I'm just going to select both of these, and we'll paste the script into both of them. And we can just duplicate this right here, duplicate the whole elevator model. Uh, and of course, if you want to add more elevators, you can. I'm just going to do two for now. Uh, just like that. I think that's lined up. And we just have to make sure that we name it Capsule 2 so that it knows exactly what capsule it is. Uh, and that's actually it. That should be done. We can go in and we can try this out. Let's see if we come over here. There we go. Okay, we're ER in. Uh, we have our two capsules. And right now we are in the upper capsule. But if we click Floor 1, and we just got teleported to the lower capsule like that. We can open the door, close it again and we can go back up to the second capsule if you want to. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the Paceman link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you guys later.